Kelsey Brianna J here with a review and tutorial using the new Kat Von D Serpentina palette. This palette just released and I ordered it from Sephora.com. Of course I had to come through and give you guys a review and a tutorial for anybody who is interested in ordering this product. This palette is rich in jewel tones and the inspiration behind this palette is Egyptian colors. So it does have a total of eight eyeshadows that are pressed in one loose eyeshadow. So I can go through and read off the names of the colors and show you guys swatches of each individual eyeshadow. The first eyeshadow is called Blood Milk. This is a matte brick red. The second eyeshadow is called Medusa, which is a bronze shimmer. The third eyeshadow is called Ankh, which is a matte black with gold glitter. Next, we have Queen, which is a rust glitter. Next, we have Hieroglyph, which is a copper shimmer. Next is Nile, ocean blue shimmer. Next is Scarab, which is an emerald shimmer. Then we have Venom, which is a matte royal purple. Lastly, we have Prophet, which is a fool's gold loose pigment. You guys will see a little bit later on in the video my tutorial using a lot of the shades. I did not use two of the eight eyeshadows and I did use the pigments. So you guys get to see a decent amount of the palettes in action. This palette is limited edition and it does retail for $45 which is not bad at all considering you get eight full size eyeshadows. So what it is, and this is Sephora's description that I'm going to read to you, a limited edition eyeshadow palette with a gold loose pigment and eight rich jewel toned inspired by the essence of Egypt. Kat Von D said the inspiration for this palette came more from a sentiment versus an actual muse but if I had to choose a physical representation I'd say it's inspired by the essence of Egypt Cleopatra to be specific although she's portrayed as one of the most beautiful women in history the truth is her powerful qualities were her intelligence and self creation she was the original pioneering woman that is Kat Von D's quote this palette is like an accent palette so you are going to need other staple eyeshadow colors to create a total eyeshadow look which I don't mind that I rather have unique eyeshadows in my palette than have a ton of these same colors that I already own within my collection so, this palette I love the design it is beautiful it does have Kat Von D's signature tattoo writing here but it's a little bit different it's not exactly the same as her shade and light palette it does have accents of gold which is my favorite hue I love gold over silver any day I just absolutely love gold and I am totally obsessed with Egypt hieroglyphics when I open up this palette I do feel as if she captured the essence of Egypt pretty well if you're going to put it in a palette. So that's pretty hard to do, but these colors are very rich. They're jewel tone. They feel very expensive and wealthy. They remind you of royalty. And I love this palette. I feel like it's really cute. I had no problems with any of the eyeshadows. I did experience a little bit of fallout with some colors, but that's going to happen when you have a super pigmented eyeshadow. A lot of times you are going to have a little bit of fallout, so you do have to be a little bit more careful. So if I were you, I would do my eyeshadow first if you're using this palette or any other palette with super rich, richly intense pigmented colors. Do your eyeshadow first and then do your foundation, concealer, and all that good stuff. Or make sure you already have some translucent powder down. That way you can just dust away if you have any fallout. But I'm super happy with my purchase. I do recommend that you get this palette. Again, here are the eyeshadows. And the palette does come with the mirror. So for those of you guys who like to use your palette, 
palette mirror to do your makeup that is an option for you the mirror is a little bit smaller so you'll have to hold it all the way up to your eyes and I have larger eyes so when I'm holding it up to my eyes I can't even fully see my nose and my eyes in the mirror at the same time so this really isn't a feature that I would really care about so the palette is super sturdy but it is made of like a harder cardboard so for those of you all who like metal palettes it is not made of that it's a little weighty so don't feel like it's flimsy just because it's cardboard I feel as if if I drop it the eyeshadows won't break very easily I just wanted to make note that in comparison to her eyeshadow formula the individual metal crushed eyeshadows they don't feel quite the same as those but I still like the eyeshadow formula in here. So now that the review is out of the way, if you guys care to see the look that I'm rocking right now, then just stay tuned and I will show you guys step by step how to achieve this look. So enjoy. Make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Starting off, I'm going in with Blanc Type Eyeshadow by MAC. And I'm going to set my eyeshadow base. For reference, I have on Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Next, I'm going to add a transition color, and this is Bobbi Brown's Toast. And I have my fluffy brush. This is Max 224 Blending Brush. And I'm going to apply this right in my crease. Back and forth. This is going to help blend out any color that I put in my crease directly. So I go a little bit above my crease. Anytime you see any girl's eyeshadow that just looks super blended and beautiful, chances are she used the transition color. And sometimes the transition color will be apparent and sometimes it won't. This one probably won't. It'll just help us blend a little bit better. This is a very light color but you still want to make sure that it's blended properly. So if you have to spend a little bit extra time going back and forth just to make sure that you don't see any sharp lines, then do that. Like I'm starting off with Blood Milk, which is this reddish color. And I'm using the same 224 brush and I'm applying that directly in my crease. So right where the, the transition color ends right in my crease, that's where I'm applying this color back and forth. So be careful with this one because you don't want it to get everywhere. Make sure you tap off the excess so you don't get fallout. The type of brush you use with these colors really changes the intensity of this eyeshadow. So because I'm using a fluffy brush, it's going on a little bit lighter and I'm able to blend it. So if I but if I use a flatter brush, the pigment will be more intense and it will show the full intensity of the color. So just be mindful when you're selecting your brushes to do your eyeshadow application. So I'm just blending this. And you really have to take your time with these type colors because one wrong move and you'll look like somebody punched you or you have a disease. So just be real careful. Now I'm taking the shade Queen with a different fluffy brush. This is the MAC 221 fluffy brush. This brush is very small and tapered. So it's going to allow me to precisely put color exactly where I need it to go. So right here on the very edge of my crease, like at the end of my eye and the edge of my crease, I'm going to take this color and deepen up my crease. So as you can see, I have my first transition color, then I have my second transition color, and then I'm going to take this color right here and just begin to blend it down. So if a little bit gets on my eyelid, that's okay. Did y'all see my eye twitch? Because it's really irritated me. So what this does is it gives it a little bit more definition so you'll see in this eye is a little bit darker than this one so I don't want a lot of this color just a tiny bit and I'm not bothering with the bottom yet I'm going to do my concealer and then do the bottom so I'm just focusing all of my efforts on the top and then if you see where a little bit is patchy anywhere you can go in with a little bit of product on the belly of the brush and actually pat to build intensity since we don't really want to swirl it because we don't want this eyeshadow everywhere. We don't want to diffuse it like we did the first two eyeshadows. We want it in a more concentrated place on the eye. 
So next, I'm taking the color Hieroglyph, which is this really pretty orangey bronze color. I actually am going to take some Too Faced glitter glue. I actually want to apply this to get a little bit more of the pigment to show from the eyeshadows and also to really intensify them. So I'm applying that only on my lid. Make sure you don't take it past your lid space. So you, when you do this, you want to do one eye at a time and work quickly. I'm going to take the color Hieroglyph with a synthetic flat shader brush and I'm going to press the eyeshadow on my lid. So I'm just tapping this eyeshadow on my eyelid. But I'm making sure not to cover up the red colors or burgundy. So if you want to go back with a little bit more of Queen, then do that with the same brush that we did before. Just to further blend the crease with the lid color, but we don't want to cover up the lid color. Just go right on the edge of it just so it's not meeting the crease color. We want to make everything flow. And I'm going to go in with the color Onk, which is this blackened shimmery. Oh my God, it's pigmented. One little swipe and I got all of that on my brush. Okay, so be very careful with this. And I'm just going to tap this right on the very outer corner just to give the look a little bit more dimension and y'all this is pigmented. And then I'm going to go in with my 221 brush just to make sure that it's blended right on the tail. So I'm applying it with the 242 like gently tapping it and you can see my placement for it. So just right here and I'm starting here and going upwards. Almost like I'm cutting the crease but I'm not taking it in and then I go back with my blending brush just to blend out the very outer tail. Whenever I apply black eyeshadow, it always takes me a moment to get that perfect blend because I always feel like there's a patch somewhere, but then when I apply more, it just sticks out right there. So I go back and forth with the blending brush and the flat shader brush a few times whenever I do black every time. And then I make sure that it's really diffused by going back with Blood Milk, which is that red color. Ooh, chow. That took a lot of blending. Okay, so this is where we are with the eye look so far. So this eye palette comes with a pigment, a loose eyeshadow. This one is called Profit. I am going to use some of this with my Tom Ford number 12 angled flat shader brush. And I want to apply this right on my inner tear duct. It's that really pretty vintage gold color where it kind of looks tarnished and green. So I just picked this up. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I have to clean up my under eyes. First time using this concealer. I'm using concealer up underneath my eye to really correct any areas where I had fallout. I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder in my beauty blender, but because I still am going to do a little bit more dramatic eyeshadow on the bottom, I'm not going to set all the way up to my bottom lash line. Now I look crazy, let's move on with our eyeshadow. So going back with the pigment in the same brush that we used to apply the pigment on the top, I am just going to wrap it around and continue with that color on the bottom. So it'll be a very highlighted inner tear duct. So wrapping it and then bringing it over. And because I am a blue lover, I have to use this color right here. This one is called Nile. I don't know what those kids are outside doing. I really like this brush because it's angled and you can get a really precise application. And I'm going to pat this right along the rest of my bottom lash line. Make sure you connect it to the top. You can go over it like the very edge of it with 
a blending brush just to soften it or you can leave it personal preference toast very lightly with a 217 brush and just go on the very edge of it just to soften that line The last eyeshadow that I'm going to use for this look is Max Rice Paper. And I'm taking that with a 213 brush. And I just want to fluff this underneath my brow bone just to give a little bit of lightness. Love rice paper so much. You guys haven't seen my favorite MAC eyeshadows. You should go watch that. I recorded it a few months ago. I'll link it down below. This is like one of my favorite eyeshadow combinations ever. So now I want to do a little bit of eyeliner. Nothing too crazy. So let's cross our fingers and pray. I just want to do like just a little. I don't even want to wing. Like how crazy is that? You see the difference? I mean you can leave it like that. I prefer a little bit of eyeliner just to give my eyes more definition. On the waterline, I'm taking some black. Let's do some mascara. So, while we wait on our lash glue to dry, I've zoomed us out so we can finish the rest of our face. I'm taking some of the mineralized skin finish and dusting away the powder that I allowed to bake underneath my eye. For contour, I'm taking my Old Faithfuls. I'm mixing Sculpt and Shade Stir together to get that perfect sculpted look. Y'all, if y'all have never tried these MAC powders, whoo, you are really missing out, honey. For my highlight, I'm using the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Candlelight. And I'm going to tap this on the high planes of my cheeks. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Glow Kits. I'm going in with Summer. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Right here. This is what you came for. You. Ooh, 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 ooh. So now I'm going to mix a few of these blushes. This one is Format. But this is what I want the main color on my cheek to be. Alright, so let's finish off this look. I'm wiping off my lip balm. I need a little bit of brow gel just to get these brows in formation. Let's do some lips. So I'm using Spice Lip Liner by MAC. A tiny bit of Arrowhead lipstick. A little bit of Spoiled Fabulous Frost Lipstick. And then lastly, I have to have a little bit of gloss, so I'm taking Max Nymphette Lip Glass. Ooh. Now I'm going to spray with MAC Fix Plus. Look, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I gave you a little bit of inspiration to use these colors or if you don't have this palette. Just bold colors in general. I love jewel tone colors and I love the way this look turned out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Smooches! Let me know in the comments if you're getting this palette or not.